Hello everyone, welcome to TechWeb Dots. Today I am going to discuss with you what is a strategy design pattern or you can say what is policy design pattern. Okay, so let's move ahead without wasting time. So the points that I am going to cover today are what is a strategy design pattern and what is the use case of a strategy design pattern its code coverage using Visual Studio C Sharp. In practical session, we will see all these things in action and what are the advantages and basic understanding of object oriented concepts will be very helpful to understand this pattern. Okay, I strongly suggest you to watch the videos, types of design pattern and solid design principles. Okay, so let's move ahead towards agenda. So let's first go by definition, define a family of algorithms encapsulate each one and make them interchangeable this is a very important point a strategy lets the algorithm vary independently from client that use it okay its definition is not clear at this moment don't worry i will explain it in the practical session as well so according to the concept what it is you can select the behavior of an algorithm dynamically at runtime i will definitely show you all these points in practical session and we can take example suppose you have a backup memory slot and if your primary memory is full and you need to store more data you can store it in backup memory slot and if you don't have this uh, backup memory slot then you try to store additional data into your primary memory so when it is full then the data will be discarded definitely you will receive exceptions or you will encounter some particular behavior based on the architecture of the program on which we are okay so a runtime check is necessary uh, before storing the data and then you can proceed okay that's the actual scenario that will really happen when we work any enterprise level application so what point that i'm going to implement with the with the code example i have performed testing for two arbitrary choice of users depending on the user input your context object will decide what choice should be set and displayed by the algorithm okay we will see all these things in action but before that let's have a look of the class diagram that i am going to discuss as you can see at the top on the right hand side first we have i choice interface that contains one method which is my choice and there are two subclasses one is second choice and one is first choice so in first choice obviously we are implementing i choice interface and in second choice as well we are implementing i choice interface okay and in context class what we are doing we have created one field of interface type choice and then we have two methods one is set choice and one is show choice okay and from the main program i am calling all these things okay so now it's time to move to the Visual Studio to see all these things in action. So let's switch to the Visual Studio. This is my Visual Studio and this is the same application that I was using in my previous design pattern series. And this is a simple ASP.NET Core web application, initially empty ASP.NET Core web application. And now I am, now I am using just writing things onto the response. So as you can see, I've explained all these design patterns. And strongly I suggest you to take the repo and do as much experiment you can now come back to the strategy pattern so I have for the interest of time I have created all the required classes already so let's go through one by one so very first class is I choice okay so this is my interface this is my one method my choice okay and this is my first choice class which is implementing I choice okay and now we are implementing this and just writing to the response and i'm just informing you this is not part of this pattern but i'm using this http context just to write on to the plain response okay now go to the second choice again we are implementing i choice interface and just writing to the response simple message traveling to india and in first choice traveling to japan okay now we have created one more class which is context and in that what we are doing we are creating one variable of type i choice okay now we are not uh, calling its constructor as you can see i mean it's our choice we prefer to use a setter method instead of using a constructor we can call this method whenever we want to change the choice behavior on the fly it means instantly okay so in the first method of set choice what we are doing we are actually initializing this i choice method 
with the type of choice that we are passing here okay and that will be assigned to this object okay and what we are doing in show choice method we are simply calling the choice object method which is my choice and that will be ultimately either from first choice class my choice or from second choice class my choice okay so that's the all this these are the four important classes that we actually require to demonstrate this policy strategy pattern okay so let's go back to the part from where the main class is there okay as you can see all other uh, parts are commented here i have added one more region as i earlier also told you how we can use this you just need to implement the uh, one namespace uh, that you really want to test and just uncomment the region accordingly okay so now we are talking about the one which is strategy pattern so we have already using strategy pattern namespace now what we are doing we are just writing to the response strategy pattern demo okay now creating i choice type uh, variable which is initially null creating instance of this context class this is my context class creating instance of it and then what we are doing now we are for simplicity we are just considering two user input okay or it can be your business case your business behavior any complex calculation that you really want to do in your application and on the basis of that you provide some input and get the instance okay and you define that algorithm in your program itself but for the simplicity so that everyone can understand i just take a for loop of two in, for two inputs okay so just writing a simple line over there and just trying to write enter your choice and i is initially is my choice so user choice initially to be one okay and then we are checking if it is one then we are creating instance of first choice in my i choice variable okay and just writing to the response first choice object selected and if it is not one it means we are creating the instance of second choice class and assigning it into i choice variable and just writing to the response second choice object selected okay and at the end in the next line if you will see we are calling the context set choice method if you go to the context go to the set choice so here we are initializing this piece of object in this choice variable okay let's go back to the startup and then after we are just writing to the response context set with the user selected choice and at the end we are calling context dot show choice okay so what we are doing in show choice is actually calling the choice interface method of my choice and which was implemented by first choice and second choice okay so i hope this structure is a little complex but i strongly suggest you to take the repo and just read it again and again and implement it in your machine as well so let's run the solution and see what is the output here we go as result is expected we can see this is our strategy pattern demo okay first in the first loop user enters one it means first choice object selected and context is set with the user selected choice and now we are traveling to japan okay and the second choice user enters two and second object selected and context is also set with the user choice and now traveling to india okay so this is the expected output let's go back to the code i hope every point is clear and don't worry about the piece of code the github repo link is given in the description of this video so let's go back to the presentation i really want you to go through that part as well where i am discussing very important question and answer that you can think about this pattern so let's go back to the presentation now let's move ahead from here okay now your question can be why we are complicating the things and why we are creating the instance of a context object we can simply use mechanism and proceed we can create one interface i choice and we can implement those two you know in those two classes i choice and then writing the message and finally there will not be any problem but let's examine what happens if you use the concept of inheritance only and let's assume that you have the following structure okay so what will happen now suppose you need to introduce another class in your system that has a special choice how should you proceed 
for example you place a method called my special choice in the interface okay as i mentioned over there in the right hand side right bottom corner so what will happen all the existing classes needs to implement the additional method but it is not over yet further assume that there is a constraint on the class first choice it cannot have any special choice you will encounter deadlock situation if you implement this special method you are violating the constraint and if you do not implement it the system architecture will be broken because as per the language construct you need to implement all the interface methods only you need to mark the class with the abstract keyword but at the same time remember you cannot create an instance from an abstract class okay so that's the answer from your question why we are not simply uh, using interface and creating type of object now next important question can be you could create a separate interface for example i special choice and place my special choice method in that interface now any class that want to get the method can implement that interface that is i mean in your interesting that is completely fine that that is possible you can do that but this is what the code will look like okay we will create another interface i special choice and there will be one more method but what will happen if you have many classes in the system and you are coding in a way it will be difficult to maintain the code because if characteristics or behavior of the special choice changes in the future you will need to track down all the classes that implement the behavior okay i hope you are getting my point you can see on the right hand side we are implementing i choice in my first class and we are implementing i choice and i special choice in my second class so this will be the drawback of this approach okay so let's move to very very important part of this video and the next question is what are the key advantage of using a strategy pattern so this design pattern make your classes independent from algorithm i mean whatever algo you applied in your system whatever business logic you apply in your system here a class delegates the algorithm to strategy object that encapsulates the algorithm dynamically at run time so the choice of algorithms is not bound at compile time okay this is very important point it is easier to maintain your code base it is easily extendable refer last two points that i just explained why we are not using i interface and why we are not using you know direct implementation of those i hope uh, you can relate that very easily now the last important point is what are the key challenges associated with a strategy design pattern so in my point of view the addition of context classes cause more object in your application users of the application must be aware of different strategies otherwise the output may surprise the user so i hope you like this video if you have any question if you have any suggestion drop into the comment box and definitely your feedback is the inspiration for me to create such videos and i will see you in the next video so don't forget to like and subscribe Till then, bye-bye.